What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Let's Talk Girl Talk. I'm super excited about this episode. Like, I'm always super excited, but I'm like super, super excited tonight because I am joined by relationship expert, author, host of Her View, Shante Dunbar. How are we doing, girlfriend? Hey, girl. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Are you ready for some girl talk, girl? I am. Let's get into it. Okay, good. Now, you know we start off the show with a secret letter. Somebody writes in, tell us they little juice, spill the tea, and we give them some advice and talk. So uh, I'm going to read the letter, and then I want to hear your response and your advice to this young lady, okay? Sounds good to me. Let's do it. All right. Let me pull up the letter here. All right. So, hi, Chris. So It's like this. I have two children, four and five, with a man that I thought I was going to marry. We have been together almost six years, but about a month and a half ago, I see his phone go off, and and I'm not one to snoop, but something told me to check it. He had gotten a text from some hoe saying she missed him and could he come over. It took everything in me not to say something and cuss him out. When he came back from the kitchen, I didn't say a word, just kept watching TV. Eventually, he sees the message, tells me some bullshit that his mama needed him to run her to the store. I let him go, but I packed up the kids and we followed his ass. Chris, I sat outside that house for two hours. I had pulled up in the driveway and sat on the hood of my car waiting. As soon as he seen me, he immediately started apologizing. Long story short, I kicked him out, but he has been begging and pleading since. I want to believe he loves me and our family and will never hurt me again, but I just don't know. I don't want to get played again. I love him so much. What should I do? Should I forgive his mistake? Girl, back. Mm. All right, Shantae, girl. Is that a mistake, though? Right. Right, and and it's weird because, unfortunately, as women, we have all been in this situation or something similar to it, okay? Like, we've been cheated on, we've been played, we felt stupid, you know, all that. But when is it a mistake, and when is it just, like, he on some bullshit? Right. <laughs> I think that's the thing that we have to, like, try to figure out here because... It's like, is this his first time doing something like this? Or is this his first time being caught? Right? Right. And then it's kind of like, okay, well, how long has he been dealing with this person? Is this like a mistress? Is this like his other girlfriend? Right. She didn't give too much detail, did she? Yeah. I need more deets because... (laughs) I just I don't want to just go up and be like oh yeah don't forgive him whatever but it's like what's the history here right? right so if this is something that's happened for the first time can you forgive something like that yeah but it's like are you telling me the whole story mm. are you giving me all the information I need to process it to decide if it's worth forgiving you know what I'm saying so right. you can't sit there and be like oh no we're caught uh sorry it won't happen again and then it's kind of like but then you do something sneaky again so it's about communication and communicating effectively and since you need to learn the whole truth and, and nothing that's but the truth, the truth. And, kind of and I think I don't know I'm I'm assuming only because I've been there and I think this might be the first time only because she you know, a woman scorned will let you know if she's been played before and, you know, but she didn't mention that. So it just making me assume that maybe, okay, this might be the first time they got young kids or whatever, but it might be the first time she finding right. out, but, you know, possibly maybe not the first time that he's done stepped out on her. So, exactly. And, and I'm not the one to say, okay, girl leave your man or stay with your man that's not my place to say but like you said she need all the details and it hasn't even been you know a a minute since it happened she just needs to you know do some soul searching i don't know help her out girl i don't know i wish a nigga would you have to process this whole thing and the fact that I, 
I don't know, just because of her reaction. It was like, she about that life. She done packed up the kids, threw them in the car. She was like, we gonna find out what's going on. We find it out right now. Right. And I like that about her because, you know, right, because some women, they, like me personally, I know I would. As soon as I saw the message, I mean, I would have went off right then, you know, but she she played it cool and she followed him. So I guess she wanted to make sure it was what it was. But, girl, I, could, I couldn't have done it. Mm -mm, my blood would have been boiling. Somebody would have got stabbed. Some, I would have called the girl. You feel me? <laughs> Something. Come on. <laughs> Ain't no right. way. That's what I'm saying. Like, the way she moved, it was so calculated. Right. Like, I'm going to wait. I'm not going to say nothing. So it's like, I feel like you've kind of been there before. If it wasn't with him, it was with someone else. Right. So, and, or I'm she she been like, having you know, like a feeling that it was happening. Yeah. And you know, your gut never lies mm -hmm. or whatever. So she, you know, she, real, she was real smooth with it. I'll give her that. I don't know if she should have took the babies with her, but I mean, she probably didn't have no sitter. You know, <laughs> <laughs> or the babies might have kept her out of jail, you know? The right, girl. Jump, right. Jump off the curb, you know? Yeah. But I um, it, it's hard when people cheat because, you know, that breaks trust, right? Mm -hmm. And once trust is gone, it's like dumped out in like buckets. You just lose it, right? Mm -hmm. And to gain trust back is so hard, you know? And then it's kind of like, all right, so even if I do process this and I decide that I'm going to forgive you or whatever, mm -hmm. what steps are you taking to tell me and assure me that this is not going to happen again? Right. Right? Are you going to therapy to figure out what's going on? Like, because when people cheat and they lie and they do like, deceiving things it has a lot to do with you know their past traumas things that they've seen things that they've grown up and experienced mm -hmm. and so a lot of stuff from childhood kind of trickles into your adulthood so it's about making better choices the doing things and apologizing for them later is not cool right you know? he shouldn't and even be doing like, anything oh, he has to say me. sorry about in the first place <laughs> exactly exactly so i'm just i just need more details like i need to know like <laughs> right when i, I say send me the letter y'all we need the if you want you if you want real advice and thorough oh, advice we need real details i mean i know it's hard enough to even tell your business but come on y'all we got we gotta have the spill all the tea okay not just a little sip we need all of we need the full teacup okay Exactly. <laughs> you gonna tell it, tell it all, so we can give you sound advice to really help you, cause we here to help. <laughs> Right. Okay. Now, let okay. Let's break it down for. Okay. Since she didn't give us all the details, now say, all right. This is a woman. She had. He has been playing her. She been. She done caught him cheating multiple times, and now she wondering. Okay. This last time we got kids together. I love him. He's been saying he's sorry. Yada yada yada. Should she forgive him? Could he? really be sorry and could they have a relationship a solid relationship moving forward they could if they learn how to communicate with each other right mm -hmm. because he went off and did what he did for a reason you know mm -hmm. and i mean i know a lot of guys will be like sometimes you just want something different sometimes it's just whatever like whatever lame excuse people yeah. to cheat but it's like you actually went behind this person's back and sought out relations with someone else. Mm -hmm. So what got you to that point to say that I can't talk to my partner or there's something that I want more from from my partner, but I'd rather, instead of talking to my partner about it, I'm just going to go out and do this thing and, you know, I can go back to living whatever life that I'm already living. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you just got to figure out his character. Like, right. you trust his character. He's sorry. Do you really believe that? Because if you do, then you have to make the choice to forgive and forgive wholeheartedly because you can't keep bringing that stuff up if you're trying to move forward. 
Right, so, and then at the same time, if she's that woman where, you know, he's been cheating multiple times, then she, then he, the only reason he keeps doing it is because she keeps letting him. So as women, we got to be able to be like, you know, hell no, nah, put your foot down. Don't let him apologize three or four times, and then you let him back in for him to do the same thing. We got to be stronger within ourselves, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, she needs oh, yes, to sir. really, you know, <laughs> just chill out. Yes, you got kids with him. Yes, they're young. But that don't mean take all his bullshit, okay? You need to really focus on you and know that you will be all right, girl. I I can't stand a woman yeah. that know her man cheating and then keep going back to him like he gonna change. You're not gonna change. The kids ain't gonna change him. He need to change himself. No. Mm -mm. Hey, he has to want to change himself. Mm -hmm. I saw this quote and it said, you know, it's not that men just don't respect women. They test to see how much respect they have to give to you. Right. Ooh, that's right. Good. So if he, right. So if he keeps cheating and you keep taking it back, that's the little respect. Leave it every time. Every because time. She ain't going nowhere, right? Mm -hmm. And then they also sometimes cheaters, especially if they're like serial cheaters, right? They know the type of person that they're dealing with, right? She doesn't want to go make new friends. She doesn't like talking to people. She's not a social butterfly. Like, mm -hmm. she's not gonna wanna start over. So I can do whatever I want because she's not going anywhere. And the more you keep saying, you need to stop, don't do that no more, you promise. But right. you don't do anything different yourself. You just keep doing the same thing. Why should I change? All I gotta say is sorry. Right, right, sucker. Stop. Now, okay, let me ask you this, Shante. Now, is it possible for a man to, um, you know how they say once a cheater, always a cheater. Do you believe in that? Do you believe that a man, once he cheats, he will always be a cheater? Or do you believe that a man can change and become monogamous? Yeah, I don't believe in that statement, once a cheater, always a cheater. Yeah, good, okay. I really don't. <laughs> I don't because it's about wanting to do the work, right? Mm -hmm. A real man, right? A real man who wants to be a better person, he's going to make the effort to do what he needs to do to stop doing that kind of behavior. Keyword, real man, ladies, real man. <laughs> a real man, a good real man mm -hmm. is going to want to make the effort to make his relationship work, be there for his children, and just make the changes to grow up. I think, I forgot who wrote the book. He's an actor, but it's like grown man versus grown male. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you think you got a grown man, but it's a boy in a man's body. Mm. So it's like- There's a lot of those running learn. around. Yeah, you gotta learn the difference. So I don't believe once a cheater, always a cheater. There's always some underlying reason on why a person does the things that they do, but it's about knowing better and doing better. You right. gotta want it. So, yeah. All right, so. She went with the kids, though. Huh? <laughs> she went the kids in the car. <laughs> you can't get over that. <laughs> what was she supposed to do? Was she supposed to leave their ass at home and then follow them? I think she did a very responsible thing. I'm just picturing her rushing these kids to get drunk to get the car. Run. I was like, did she put shoes on or was she out there her slippers like this? Like, right, she probably had the bonnet on, hair wrapped up, everything. <laughs> Oh, and that's what sucks you know they you have small kids and you just want it to work but sometimes it just doesn't and that has to be okay that has to be okay you do not have to just because you have kids does not mean you have to make the relationship work with the kid's father you know mm. right right so, now have I you ever I'm... have you ever been cheated on Shantae have I ever been cheated on? Uh -huh. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I I don't know. Ah. I don't know. But I honestly can say, like, you know, you have like a gut feeling, and I've expressed my feeling about it. I've mm -hmm. even caught like 
you know, a text message here and there, but to actually full blown, you're seeing someone else like seen that has never happened to me. I don't know if I'm like thinking that maybe it didn't go as far as it could have, or if I'm just being naive and thinking that. <laughs> yep, you naive as hell. So you seen the text? Yeah. Well, okay, okay. The, I'm okay. What did the text message say? Do you remember what, what? what did the text message say? So well, you no, you never I caught him in the act. No, never caught him in the act. So this was like very early on in the relationship. Like we had to be, I would say, what four or five months in, mm -hmm. and he got a text message, and I was in I was in the bedroom. I can remember it like yesterday. I was in the bedroom. He was in the living room playing some video game, and he had left his phone in the room. So it goes off. So I'm like. Oh, <laughs> and the text message said oh hey sexy just checking to see how you're doing right mm -hmm. so I was like Okay. Okay. All right. So then, um, his response was like oh I'm good just you know chilling or whatever um, so then the person was like well I hope I get to see you soon it's been a long time mm -hmm. oh hell no and she didn't respond, right? So this right. was, I guess she was waiting for the response. But the crazy thing was is that it was under a guy's name. Ooh. So that that kind of sneaky, right? Right. So hey, I yeah. was freaking out. I had just read this book. It had came out talking about Download Brothers. Girl, I was had a heart attack. I was like, Oh, oh, so you don't know if it was a dude or a girl. Because he could be trying to be sneaky, but he could be on the down low at the same time. Right. So I'm like, and I got up. I went in the living room, threw the phone. I was like, who's Robert? <laughs> and he was like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I was like, who is Robert? And why is Robert calling you sexy? Like, I was going in. Right. And then he just broke it out and was like, that was my ex. Um, you know, my brother ran into her and he gave her my number. And it doesn't mean anything. And that's just how she talks. I and wish blah, a blah, nigga blah, blah. would. Like, this is all bullshit. I right. Because why, right if now. it was anything to hide, if it wasn't anything to hide, why would he put her under Robert? Exactly. Exactly. Well, and did y'all like, make it through that? We did. We did. And I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, you know, oh, it was blissful ever since. Obviously, we're not together. Right. But you know, I don't know if he became more sneaky with it. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. But I wasn't a lot when I forgave. I wasn't allowing myself to constantly. Oh, because right. remember when Robert, quote unquote, was texting Like, I just, I forgave. And it was actually quite blissful for a while until, you know, it wasn't and other things occurred. But right. yeah, as far as being cheated on, I don't know. So that's the, only, that's the only thing that you have in regards to cheating? Yeah. Girl, yeah. I thought you was about to... <laughs> You was about to get some advice on how to move, you know, like on after being cheated on. And girl, that ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> but that, I mean, when you think about it, the, the, the thing is, is, like, you have to get to a point in your relationship where you guys decide, like, you're not going to keep hurting each other. Like, right. That, right. When you see the pain and stuff that you fall on somebody else. To keep continuously doing that and to keep allowing somebody to continuously do that to you, you have some self-esteem issues, there's self-confidence problems, and there's some things that you need to become more self-aware of mm -hmm. so that you can do better, the both of you. And not to say that you have to do better together, but whatever, whatever you have is toxic. Right. Like I did a dating tip Tuesday um, yesterday about trauma bonding. A lot of people get into these relationships with these people and they're addicted to one another knowing that they're bad for mm -hmm. each other. So they're both broken. They yeah, they belittle you. They talk down to you. Some are getting physical with you. And the moment that this person decides to be nice to you, then it's like, 
you forget all the bad things that they did. And it's because you're, you have no self-esteem and you're addicted to this toxic person and you're letting them control you. And it's like, why? Why is this happening? Some people have a hard time with change, but you got to want to do better for yeah. yourself. Like people... You're, we're adults. And that time away I mean, I, when you when you go through something that's it's like in regards to cheating or just an abusive relationship and you call it quits and you guys take that time away from each other and focus on yourself individually, you might be able to come back together and work something out and have a solid foundation and relationship moving forward. But if you're not trying to take that time away from each other, you know, each other and work on yourselves, you're never going to have anything long lasting. It's not going to work. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then I think it's kind of sad that, you know, you have to like threaten to leave somebody for them to realize what they have. Right. It's like, why don't I just be with somebody who sees what they have and appreciates what they have and wants to keep what they have? Right. Because like, sometimes. Because, you know, sometimes so. women are ahead. You know, they say women mature faster than men. And then sometimes it's vice versa. Sometimes men mature are m more mature than the woman that they're wanting to be with. You got to get on the same page, yeah. you know. And sometimes it takes going through bullshit and working it out and just growing together. Because I can tell you from right now, if me and my husband wouldn't have grown together, girl, then there's no way we would be 10 years in the marriage right now. You know, it, it, it took some time, but we did it, you know. And sometimes it takes, like you said, willing to communicate, fight for one another and, you know, and do that. But so let me ask you a question. When is a cheater a cheater um, or when... Okay, so the question of today's topic, I'm trying to word it right so it makes sense. So, cheater or just human? That's today's topic, right? So, when is a cheater just a person making right. a mistake? Or when is a cheater just a plain on old down and dirty cheater? <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, it's changed behavior, right? Right. You can talk all you want. But if your actions don't match your words, guess what? Your words mean nothing. Right. So if you cheat and you apologize and you go, like, I mean, not everybody who cheats that one time is going to have to go to a therapist and right, whatever. Right. But you have some soul searching to do, right? Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. Why did I do what I did? And I need to communicate better with my partner, right? And instead of saying, like, oh, you don't do this, you never do this, you never do this. It's like you have to talk to them in a way and be like, this is what I this is what I need. This is what's lacking and this is what I want us to work on together so that I won't have this urge or this this need to find it somewhere else. I want it in you. Right. But can we consciously make this effort to make that work? Right. You both have to want that. I can respect somebody who comes to me and say that. Right. Because sometimes we get comfortable with each other. And we may not do the things that we were doing in the beginning. Yeah. Right? But that, that doesn't happens. that doesn't give you so, a pass to, to cheat. Right. Right. So it's just like if you're not trying to make that effort to communicate, you get caught or you end up confessing. Because some people confess. It just weighs heavy on their heart. And right. They can't believe they did it. Right. So right. Like right. But it takes now a strong... It takes a strong woman to be like, you know, just to sit there and listen to him without, you know, just popping off and going ham. So what can we do as women? I mean, of course, maturity plays a part in it. As you grow, you you, you learn more how to communicate. Right. But if this is your, you know, your first time, you had no idea and you find out he's cheating, how do we as women just kind of like woo and just put ourselves in a situation where we just are able to listen instead of going straight for the butcher knife. <laughs> well, then you have to make that decision. Do I want this to work? Mm -hmm. Right. Well, you I could want, want it to work, work and still want to stab him at the same time. <laughs> you want the answer? Or you want to be angry, right? Right. You want to work this out and respond correctly or you just want to react and just be in your feelings and get no answer. Right, right, right. you're right, you're right. Like, this is what I like about, 
this is what I like about the letter though. Like I like her strategy. Like in the end, it kind of faltered, but right. I like that she was a thinker. Mm -hmm. You know, she stopped and she said, I'm going to say anything. I'm going to watch his moves and see what he does. You know what I mean? That's right. a thinker. And that's how you're able to get the answers. But once you fly off the deep end, Right, like he like this bitch crazy. I ain't telling her nothing. <laughs> and like it happens so much where people like get all like hyped up. Like, why won't you talk to me? Why won't you tell me? Why right. won't you do this? And then like create hysteria. And you're like, I don't want to talk to you because first of all, I don't feel safe. Right. <laughs> right. You're not providing a space for me to feel like I can talk to you freely without me thinking that you're gonna like attack me right so it's about you know not reacting and actually responding which is not an easy thing to do you may have to go off a little bit right but at some point you gotta calm down so you can get the answers right it's a fine balance like, in between super crazy and like listening it's a thin line. It's a thin, thin line. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. So, you can't just be like, why did you do this? Why did you do this? And then he's trying to explain. You're like, shut up. <laughs> and then you ask another question. <laughs> Don't talk to me. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you, you have to want, you have to decide. And it may be hard to decide right in that moment. Not everybody's going to be a sound thinker. You know, right, oh, right. He should decide with this to work. Right now, you're just, you're hurt. And yeah. it's okay. Allow yourself to feel everything that you feel. But in the end, you definitely have to make a choice. And that will determine how you move. Because mm. if you want it to work, you're going to talk it through. If you're not interested, you're going to be like, pack your shit and go. Right. Right. Ooh, oh. I love that. And that's real. That's real talk. Okay. Now, I appreciate you so much for, you know what I'm saying, going through the letter with me and giving advice and just being on the show. You are so gorgeous. I appreciate you. Um, now, you actually... <laughs> you actually have a book, Diving in Stilettos First, right? I do, I do. Tell me, um, well, tell yeah. us, what is the book about? Okay, you got it on deck, so, yes. Uh, the book? Oh, you look happy, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, um, the book is about my dating memoir um, of dating in New York City. I was married, and I got an annulment, and so this takes you on the journey of me diving back into uh, the New York City streets in search of love, really. Yeah. And I end up dating people from my past, which I don't know. Um, <laughs> trying online dating, people wanting to hook me up with people, just meeting people randomly. And it ultimately ends with me having a lot of self-awareness, self-discovery, and learning that I have to make better choices mm -hmm. and do better myself to attract exactly what I want. Right. So, yeah, I take you on a whole bunch of shenanigans, and the guys have all these, like, crazy names I gotta can't get right in here. <laughs> uh, Superman. <laughs> yes. Um, Boy, like this guy always brought me breakfast. Like I, I really take you through every situation, and yeah, it's just about growing as a person, you know. And it sounds um, good and relatable, honey. Now I love the fact where you said, uh, you know, what I'm saying, making yourself. But you, you know, attracting, you know, what you want by changing who you are. Now, a lot of people be like, God, send me a good man. I'm just waiting on me a good man. But they still not, you know, what they need to be inside to get that good man. Don't no man want you and you all, you know what I'm saying, messed up in the inside. So before I, <laughs> before I let you go, like, what did you do? Like, what was the steps that you took? in order, you know, to change your, you know, your inside to, you know, reflect your outside and get that I, man that you've been looking for. Yeah. So I focus on my health, mm -hmm. right? My mental 
physical, spiritual. I got closer with God, of course. I hung around people who were like like minded and doing things like just ambitious people, people who supported me, you know. And I really got involved in like what my passions were. That's how I ended up writing the book. It's like I discovered the things that I like to do because I noticed, I realized that when I was in my marriage, I had lost myself. Mm -hmm. I was so busy trying to be perfect wife or trying to be whatever it was to make him happy and it wasn't until like everything was done that I realized like you can't make other people happy it's an inside job right, right? they have right. to want that for themselves mm-hmm. and so often like we lose ourselves trying to be this thing for this person when honestly that person never really wanted you to be that thing like you kind of right yourself right that. And we have to learn to stop doing that. Like, we, learn, we have to learn to accept people for who they are in the moment, the mm-hmm. season that they're in, and not, you know, be with people because I see potential. I see potential. It's like, if they don't see the potential in themselves. Right, you wasting you your time. Them. Right. So, yeah, it's just, it's just a lot of, of growth and just reading and just, I learned from just being a better version of myself. I attracted way better people, right. way better dating platforms. And it took the stress out of dating because it was like I was going from relationship to relationship to relationship, not knowing anything about myself. I had moved out and got my own apartment. Girl, I didn't even know what kind of furniture I wanted. No. I was like, I do want my girl. What color do I like? because everything was about him. Right. So then I became this like independent tyrant and I was just like, I want this, I deserve it, I get it. <laughs> and then that got crazy. So it's about finding that good balance and mm-hmm. I think that's where I am. That really good. Well, good. good. Now, where are you now in this day in pool, girl? Like, are you seeing somebody? Did all that self-care and everything work out? Have you found that person yet? (laughs) I feel like I've narrowed it down. I'm dating, but I'm dating, like, happily dating. Yes, good. Multiple people, I hope. Weighing your options, I hope. Yes, yes, exactly. I'm not putting any pressure on it. I'm just literally having a good time. And it's so funny. At the end of 2019, I was like, okay, guys, I'm ready. Just bring it on. I want all the love. I'm here to receive it. Yes, yes, yes. And then COVID came. And I was uh, like, oh, well. That messed all your game up, girl. She <laughs> was like, hold up. <laughs> There's a few things I'd like you to finish first. <laughs> like, right. Part two. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. Well, I good. Now, for those that. who would want to purchase your book, where can we find it? So the book is available on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, Audible, as it's an audio book, so you can listen to it if you want to. It's yeah. me actually narrating the book. So you will feel like your girlfriend is spilling all the tea while you're driving on your way to wherever you're going. Yes. Uh, it's on Amazon. And if you'd like a signed copy, you can go to my website, adventstilettlesfirst.com, and I can mail that out to you as well. That yeah. sounds amazing. Y'all, support the girl, okay? Diving in stilettos first. Get your copy. Now, if they want to follow you on social media, keep up with what you're doing, listen to the Her View podcast, how can they do that? So, Her View Podcast is streaming everywhere, Google, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Um, we also do a Facebook Live, and we're also on YouTube, so you can check us out there. And then I'm on Instagram, Facebook, everything is diving in stilettos first. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Miss Shante Dunbar, for being a part of Let's Talk Girl Talk. Thank you for having me. This is so fun. Absolutely. (laughs) Hopefully you'll come back and join us another time and have some more Girl Talk, okay? I 
enough and we love to have you on her view so please yes just hit me up girl you know i i get up on there and talk to you now now for all of you out there (laughs) if you have a letter you would like to share please hit your girl up at contact at chrisking.com all right or you can go to our facebook page and hit the community tab see you guys next week